What's up? Action Hunter 55 here and welcome back to another video where today I'm really, 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 really excited to say that this is the start of a new series. And that series is going to be to find the best gun in Black Ops 4 and we're going to start with SMGs. So like the rules of this is we're going to have two guns go head to head. So this episode is going to be compiled of two matches, one gun per game. And the winner, like the one, the gun that I decree the best is going to move forward. And the way I'm going to judge what gun is the winner is by either the gun that gets the most kills for me or the gun that I get a better KD with. If the kills and KD are equal for both guns, then I will choose the gun that I prefer. And one more thing is all these guns are going to have no attachments except for an optic if I wish to have one. And that is it for the rules, so let's get into our first match. Guys, so we are in our first game and I am pleased to announce the first gun. We are testing the MX-9. And as I said earlier, there's going to be no attachments, so the only thing on this is reflex. I love this gun so much. Not quite as much as I love me Vapor, but this this is probably in my top five guns, along with the Cordite and Vapor and other stuff. Might even be number three for me. Righty ho, let's see if there's someone around here. Something I can get a quick kill with. Just to show off how good this gun is. Oh, killed and got a, got a kill and got killed. They're the kind of kills I don't like. When you just die straight afterwards. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Ah, how did I survive that? I don't know. Right, so the MX9, as you can see in the corner, it has 35 rounds. And that's with no attachments. You can get, um, that's a teammate. You can get, whoa, you cover me teammate while I say this. You can get, um, extended mags, which gives you, um, like 50 or so. I think it like doubles ish. So you get more, whoa, that should not have been my kill. So you get more, whoa. Okay, so I think it like doubles or whatever, so you get a lot more ammo. And I would probably use that if it wasn't for the fact that for this challenge I'm doing no attachments. So, but because it's got such a low, like, where the hell did that guy go? Oh, that's a teammate, oops. So because it's got like such a small magazine, you can't kill people in rapid succession. So it's hard to get a double kill. And I would say, I'd go even as far as saying impossible to get a triple kill because of the fact that your, your magazine would run out while you was probably halfway through killing the second person. So it's not great for stuff like that. Four and one at the moment, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. So also, apparently lots of people think that it's better than a, an assault rifle at close range however i would say that the vapor could easily outdo the mx9 at close range just my opinion but you know i'm also using reflex because the iron sight on this is just uh, it's literally like you can't see anything the iron sight takes up a lot of screen when it doesn't need to. Right, where's everyone gone? Rude! Rude to be killing me like that. Eh? So I love this gun so much. And by the way, guys, we've had Christmas. I want to know what you guys got. Oh dear, there's someone on the floor. Didn't notice them. So I got um, a new game, which is Gran Turismo. Please comment to let me know if you want to see videos on that. Because I'm not sure if that's the kind of thing that my audience would want. Because I usually play like Fortnite and Black Ops. It's so like shooter games. I'm not sure if you guys would want to see a racing game. I also got a copper controller. Which is fire. I wanted gold. They didn't have it. But you know, copper's just as good if not better. 
Woo, got a kill. And also, I also got a controller holder in the shape of Ruin. You know, this cool guy that I'm using right now. It is fire. You can charge a controller with it, but I decide not to because, man, who wants to do that? Our team is losing badly, like badly. Not sure if I should tell you who the next contender for the competition is. Um, should I? Well, we have some people with bad KDs on our team. Um, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh, that was clutch. I so nearly died. Oh my God, my life. So, oh dear. So I like this gun, as you can see. We, my team is losing. Oh, how did I not see you? I think one of the like contenders when voting for the maps was Firing Range Night. I've never understood ever, 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 ever why you'd want to play on a map that's in nightfall. Because you can't see people that easy. But I suppose I did like Fringe Nightfall, but... Fringe is just such a good map, not nightfall. I mean, Firing Range is a good map, not nightfall. I just feel like there are some maps that shouldn't have night or like sunset. It's like we have seaside sunset. Like who wants seaside sunset? Not me. Now another good, excellent, marvelous my friends. Another good thing about this gun is like, I, you can like get, because it's an SMG you get I'd say you get more kills than with an assault rifle than you would with an assault rifle. So like I, like when I was trying to level this thing up and stuff, um, I got like a 22 kill. I'd like to say 22 kill game, which is like that's probably the highest um, kills I've ever got in one match. There are some people who get like 50. I'm like. That not me, that not me, that not me. 11 and 8, ooh. It's positive, so I'm gonna stay positive, but it's not. What am I trying to say? I'd be getting better in practices, but it is what it is. If this gun doesn't win, then I guess I'll be a little disappointed, but um. This gun doesn't win, I guess I'll be a little disappointed because I like it and all, but if our next gun's better, our next gun's better, you know. So I'm gonna wait until we get to the next game to tell you what our next gun is. I'm sure you guys have already guessed it. So right, pause the video now and comment what gun you think I'm gonna test up next. And if you're right, I'll give you a shout out in the next episode of this. So you guys, come on you guys, use your common sense. I think you guys can guess what's next. And if you do, first person to guess it right gets a shout out. Okay? And if you have a PS4, I guess you can play with me. I'm always happy to add you guys, but none of you seem to have a PS4. Which I find a bit weird. Why would you want an Xbox in your right mind? Well, I guess lots of people aren't in their right mind. Hence why they have an Xbox. Ooh, we are losing so badly. I'm 15 and I'm actually top of my team. That is a little worrying. By a little, I actually mean a lot. Because, come on, I'm... To Tim KD and is that a, that's a dead person I just shot a dead person what on earth is wrong with me Whew. damn it hard in here guess it's all that intense black ops action right I was surprised to learn that lots of ah that could have been a good kill I was surprised to learn that lots of people don't actually like um, Black Ops. I think it's just a bunch of kids killing each other, but 
I really don't think it's that bad. Right, so for the MX9, we got 16 kills to 10 deaths. So that's a 1.6 KD. And now we move on to the next gun. Dun dun dun! Are into our next game, and our next contender is the GKS. So this thing. This thing has 38 rounds, so slightly more than the MX-9, but it's still not a big magazine. Like, there's some guns with some hefty magazines, but this ain't one of them. This is not one of them. So, extended mags on this thing gives you 56 bullets, so I'd say it's definitely worth looking into if you really want to use the GKS. But, I'm a vapor kind of person. So I'm not sure if after this competition I'll actually use any of the guns other than the vapor. But it's worth a try. Worth to see what gun I cram best. I might surprise myself with it not being the vapor. Ooh, zero one. I haven't actually found any any people except for that guy. So this is again not good for multiple kills at a time because small mag, but I'm sure with extended mags it would be brilliant. Ooh. Just die, just just die. Killing and getting killed is not fun. Right, nice. So if you want a pretty accurate sight, I'd go with recon because it gives you um, plus two for range and plus one for accuracy and you definitely want to be plusing on your accuracy you know and the in-game description for it is it has low recoil and high accuracy at range and it is fully oh dear it's fully automatic which basically means you can just go and kill everyone you can just spray everywhere. Ah! Oh, couldn't kill like three people. That would have been madness. 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 Whoa. So the attack, the recommended attachments from my highly detailed research on IGN is long battle two. Extended mags, grips two, and quick draw two. Basically anything that's gonna make this thing faster or more accurate. And we are into negative KD. So I'm think I'm thinking the GKS is going down. I might just be playing bad this game, but I'm I'm thinking the GKS is not as good as I expected it to be. But I mean I've used it to level it up. And it was actually better than this in practice, but you let me down, GKS. You letting me down, boy. We can't be having this. We need a solid gun. See, look, we're getting killed by people who are using the Saug. We should not be getting killed by people using a glorified pistol. Come on, GKS, my man. Come on. Let him have it. Let rip. Let me get more kills. No, this thing weak. I might just be bad, but this thing weak. I'm probably not going to choose to use this ever again, because this thing's actually weak. Weak, weak, weak. 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 Of course that guy waits until my mag run out. 7 and 11. Not looking good for you, GKS. Not looking good at all. Hmm, this is looking sketchy for the GKS. We are. I don't know if I'm either the bad one on my team or I keep getting put on bad teams. But this is not good at the moment. God damn it. I would actually say this is pretty slow for an SMG, you know. You know. 7 and 13. This is bad. Come on, GKS. You're going down at this rate. GKS could be knocked out in the first round. Oh, 
GKS, bro, you let me down. 7 and 15. That is what is called a letdown from the GKS. I thought this thing was going to be like, pew, 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 pew. But apparently it decided to not do that and just let me down and let me get 7 and 15. Which I must say, it could just be me, but I'm thinking that the GKS needs to take a seat and let some other better guns like the MX-9 come through. So, at the end of the Black Ops 4 Best Gun gu Best, the Black Ops 4 Best Gun Competition, Episode 1, we have our winner with the MX-9. Congratulations MX9, you're moving on to the next round. And that is the end. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and until next time, goodbye guys.